Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Almost 5 Star. This week we are going to do something different. As you know, we did a lot of pre-preparing food tasting challenge in the last couple of times and today we are going to challenge our own cooking skill. Uh, a lot of my friends start using this Asian cooking app named We and by looking at their app, I saw they have a lot of selections at a reasonable price so I would like to give it a try as well. Note this is not a sponsor video, it's my own experience and I'm going to cook everything from scratch for $40 for the whole 5 days lunch and dinner. That means I'm going to cook 10 meals under this budget. I do have something in my refrigerator, include onion, box of eggs and some yogurt. So that's all I'm going to use. Um, I also have some cooking sauce already, like uh, soy sauce and salt and pepper. But after that, I don't have anything fancy. And please follow along. Let's go and order some food right now. So here's the app We W E E E. When you click here, as you can see, um, the top section it seems to be some um, seasonal recommendations. I usually go to this section directly. They have different kind of category from fruits, greens, and meat. When you click in, they have more breakdowns like vegetables and greens, herbs that you can click through and try to find what you're looking for. And then the other sections is like discount sections, editor's pick, and some more recommendations along the way. They seem to also have the um, makeup stuff as well. But let's just go ahead to uh, what I had just ordered. So here's everything that I, that I ordered for this experiment. Um, it's in Chinese version. The first one is a chicken leg. And second one is bean sprout. And then following by that is a mini king oyster from tofu, 1.5 pounds beef slice, um, hair tail fish, we also call it a belt fish. And then it's fresh fennel. We made it usually in dumplings as a stuffing. And then Spanish, tomato, bean sprout, green onion. Uh, I received the items, I request a refund because there are some imperfections in the onions. And then uh, fresh celery. The total price is 42.33. I think it's a, it's a good um, experiment to see if we can finish 10 meal outside of it. So let's go ahead and draft some recipes to start with. Hi friends, I'm here today and our delivery is here. Just to take a look at the package over here. And I am very excited to unpackaging with you. Cool, that is a lot. So as you know, our fourth challenge this week is around 40 ish dollars. So, you know, all the price come up together to be 40 ish number. But I'm going to actually share you more about what individual items by the end of the video. So, stay tuned. But I'm going to tell you what I ordered here. So, this is celery, this is a mushroom, and our pea sprout right here. This is a bean sprout, and uh, organic Spanish and formula. This is kind of like very new things. I'm going to use uh, make dumplings out of it. And then we have scallion and tomatoes. Here's the packaging for our meat. We have this. Da -da -da -da. This is my favorite. Um, it's like slight beef plain. It's more for um, Usually we use that for either um, hot pot or something like that because that's why it's so slim. But I think actually work for everything. Basically, if you want to do just like stir fry or anything, it works perfectly. And we have this. This is a bowfish. We have a uh, firm tofu. And we have organic uh, chicken drumsticks here. I don't believe I ordered the 
um, something. Probably my roommates ordered that under my um, my order. But you can see that's probably what we are going to use for the whole five days. So, what's your initial thought? Do you think that's good enough uh, for one person, or do you think I can actually? finish them all but feel still hungry let me know and uh, I like the portion I think everything's ready and good to go and oh one more thing I want to share you this is a menu I made um, I'm going to hang up here on the refrigerator just like a reminder um, but basically what I did is I want to make sure each meal I have uh, 14 like meat I have veggies and the flavor goes very well and what is especially important for me is I don't want to repeat the same food from lunch and dinner on the same day so I'm going to just spread it out for example if I already have beef um, somewhere around lunch I won't have like maybe chicken or the fish at my dinner so that's a very simple thumb rule and uh, you know nutrition wise it should be pretty good as well I believe so looking forward to see you in each meal Hi everyone, are you ready for the first meal? Um, according to our menu, today we are going to cook the roasted chicken lap with uh, tomato and egg noodle over here. As you can see, everything's all prepared. Uh, we prepared the chicken ahead of time, four hours in refrigerator with red pepper, some salt, and black pepper on top of it. Um, you can also optional to put more uh, onions and uh, uh, garlic as you like. And we also prepare this like pure chicken bone. We're going to prepare some soup. It's not used for this meal, but since we're going to have it at night and in nice to give it a little bit time on the stove. So we are going to prepare that on site. And um, then we have our tomato, scallion, and egg. So we're going to get started for our first meal. my meal for today like the noodle and the, the chicken lap for today and regarding to the chicken soup I'll just like it very like steam in the steaming a little bit in the stove and then don't forget to turn off your oven here we go for the day one Hi friends, so today I'm going to prepare my second meal. This is a, a beef pea sprout and scallion pancake. And this is base for the pancake. Of course, there's flora and some eggs. Just eating them very well. Use that space. And as you can see here, I actually lightly saute this beef with just pepper and salt. I really enjoy the moment that I can actually unroll, unfold them like this. Um, this meat, as you can see, is a little bit on the fatty side. So if you want to avoid fat, I think you can just put that in the pan directly and let the, the fat drill out. Um, but I don't really care that much, so I might, may just like chop it and immediately put in the base. Um, I also actually discovered I have an actual form tofu, so it's come with a package of four and I have like three of them written in the menu so I think it's probably nice to add in this in the soup as well and remember the chicken uh, soup that we have at standard time we can reuse that for now I already uh, warm it up and get ready for the soup so I think the portion wise though this is perfect for two people for me this is a little bit too much for one person but since I have a lot of food, that's probably what I want to try and I'm going to call my roommates to enjoy with me. Look at this, looking so promising. Hi everyone, we are going to cook some beef, celery, I add some tofu because we do have some actual ones over here and uh, we have scallions over here as well 
uh, regarding to soup, we are going to do a mushroom and pea sprout combination with the chicken soup that we had prepared before. And if you have seen, I cooked the pea sprout for like a couple of times, but I only use one third of the package. So I really consider this is a value product for this me experience. And I actually hadn't have bean sprout before, but it's actually come up surprisingly good for two reasons. One is it's really high value, as you can see. I only eat a little bit of it. And secondly, it's really healthy because it's high in fiber and it's kind of also on the green side as well. Another thing I find is it's so easy to cook. It's easy to get ready with any method, basically stir fry, you make a soup off of it. It's just very easy to manage. And uh, it's also taste differently. It actually adds a layer of freshness to your meal or like working as a decoration purpose. So I really enjoy having it so far. And without further ado, let's get started. Now it's 4 p.m. Seattle time. Let's prepare some meal. Today we are going to cook bellfish and bean sprout and spinach. The bellfish, as the name suggests, is actually a very long fish, just like a bell. And then they prepare that into a bigger chunk in the packaging. Uh, this is actually the final result we are shooting for. Um, the cooking process is not challenging. Basically, you just deep fry the fish and then put some soy sauce on top of it to give it a brownie um, texture. And the, the tips here is to clean the skin of the fish first. I use a sponge and then just wash it out in the sink and then pat dry the, the fish using your uh, kitchen towel. There's some safety tips when you deep fry it. And for the bean sprouts, in the packaging here, you can see actually there's a best use date. I suggest you uh, take a look. Well, I created this menu, actually, I forgot to really check everything when will that be expired, but I also consider that's a short time, like five days. If you're planning a meal, for example, like seven days or even 10 days, you might want to start with the food that might get spoiled first. So by saying that, let's get started for the meal.
Hi everyone, are you ready for the dinner? Since we swap lunch and dinner, so tonight we're going to have tomato, beef, mushroom. I did a little bit kick with celery here, and the dish itself is really straightforward. First of all, we stir fry tomatoes, make a creamy base, and then add pork in, and then veggie. The only thing I want to mention is we do want the beef to be naturally deforest if possible, so just take it out from the refrigerator like one hour ahead of time and you should be ready to go. Let's get started. Hi everyone, so are you ready for today's dinner? So today we are going to cook chicken lap with mini oyster mushroom and we are going to steam them on a steamer over there and we are going to bake another tomato egg and spinach soup. Let's get started! Hi, let's cook some simple lunch for today. Today we are going to have the chicken leg and the eggs with onion over rice. As you can see, it's all prepared. We cooked rice earlier, so so super convenient to just take it. And then actually craving for some soup, I'm going to use the, the chicken broth with bean sprout, pea sprout, and firm tofu. Let's get started.
everyone. So today we are making some beef dumpling. Um, as you can see here, I have my dough ready, which is pretty simple, just four and water with 20 minutes, and then you massage them a little bit, put them aside, and we have the meatball as inside. We have beef over here, we have fennel, we have some scallion and mix them with sauce. And if you have sashimi oil, we'll come to add some too and some pinch of salt. That's how it works. And what we are going to do, we are going to just squeeze one of the dough like this to start with. And then you can rotate while well, the process of making the dumpling skin. Like I'm never able to make a perfect circle one, but I'm pretty okay with what I have usually. Um, like this. Any shape actually works. If you make a square, as long as you can hold what is inside, it's totally fine. So even for this shape like this, totally fine. So what I did is I'm going to just add some meatball inside, just like that. You might need some waters for the to fix the edge. So get some like purified waters on side to be ready. And then you can just go ahead and make the dumpling. Again, it doesn't have a doesn't require a lot of skill as long as you can make sure it's a hundred percent sealed by the end. And then we can go ahead and boil in some dumplings. Hi everyone, are you ready for some super quick lunch for today? So as you know, we already have this bell fish ready for last meal. It has been sitting in the refrigerator for two days. Um, and then we have Spanish and egg. Today we are going to cook Spanish by just drop that into the hot water and then blend it very well with the egg and green onions here to add some flavor and texture. And we are just going to just quickly stir it. everyone it's lunch time today we are going to have beef tomato celery mushroom and add some extra tofu here we plan to have it over rice but today i feel like this combination makes me feel like it should be something like a noodle sauce so i'm going to make a noodle instead and let's get started
Thank you so much for watching the videos I did for lunch and dinner. You may actually ask, is that even possible to squeeze in some of the ingredients for breakfast as well? I think the answer is yes. For the most part of this week, I have this overnight oatmeal that I have already with some nuts, brown sugars, flax seeds, and hip seeds. It's very healthy and handy. Another option that I did have for this week is this uh, yogurt and the blueberry combo. If you're craving for something sugar, I would suggest add some banana slice. But that's all, that's very simple. And something I did a little bit fancy this week is I used the chicken stove we have and I minced the beef and uh, I boil them um, up with the kanji, like basically the rice and then I actually have a well beaten egg on top of everything to create a very consistent and rich texture I really enjoy having this kanji so far I decorate that with some sprout and that's all um, you may want to have some like sashimi oil to also increase some of the flavor or some black pepper um, people maybe also try these things in in my country like um, the pepper mixed as well so um, I prefer the light way it's just the whole texture and flavor is a little bit salty um, but very consistent so I enjoy having this kanji as breakfast another option you may try is you can have the spinach and egg well beaten together uh, make a scramble of it that's another option as well I find it's, it's good variation for me simple and uh, manageable so far, um, some of the lunch and dinners like the dumpling does like need a little bit more time, but I think it's worth it for the price and anyways, just a food adventure. So I hope you enjoy the sections of the We um, $40 per week meal session. And if you find this helpful, please click a like button and subscribe my channel. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.